a win for Borussia Dortmund, beating Freiburg by five goals to one. Uh, Erling Haaland with a brace in that game uh, to close the gap for Borussia Dortmund at the top of the table on Bayern Munich. Of course, still yet to play uh, this weekend. Let's head to Dortmund, shall we? Look at this for a double out. Jan Arga Fjortov and Archie Rin Tart to take us through. Not only what happened in the game, but first, boys, I think it's fair to discuss what happened after the game. Sure. Well, I have to pass you over to the man over here from our Norwegian rivals who <laughs> had a chat with Erling Haaland. And Jan, Erling is, I'd say, had shone on the pitch. And you're thinking, well, he's, he's made the headlines in the right way. And then the focus is, is off him in a, in a different sense now because of what he said to you. Yeah, he was on a mission. He, he just came over after scoring two goals and he, he looked a bit angry. And we, we know he, he likes to have the, that temperament. And I asked him, why are you so angry? And he said, because I, I didn't score three goals. OK. And then we had a, a chat about this and that. And I said to him, how do you block these this old speculations around you? How do you block that out? And then he was on a mission because what he said is that I respect this club. I haven't said anything for months. But now they want to push me in a direction that I have to make a decision now. So then we have to start then. So I, so I asked him, yeah, so when will you like to make a decision? I said, not now. I want to play football. And then he said it again. They want to push me this and that. And it was a bit surprising. I think that surprised Dortmund as well. Because uh, after the interview, I, asked, I said to Dortmund, I just warned them that there will be some headlines tomorrow about <laughs> his, uh, his thing. And I said, why? Because we, we, we haven't heard about that. But he was on a mission, Archie. He, he knew what he was saying. The background to this is that Erling Haaland, of course, has this clause in the summer which allows him to go for this fixed fee of around 70 million euros, pounds. A significant sum, but still not quite in that top bracket that I think Borussia Dortmund would want. Borussia Dortmund wants to keep Erling Haaland for longer. But from Erling Haaland's point of view, he's thinking, you know what the deal is. This clause has been there and now you're making these steps to try and say, we want a meeting. We're trying to push you in, in this direction. And I think most importantly, they've been making these sounds in the press saying that, well, we're going to have this meeting with him. And I think that that has disturbed Erling Haaland. Yes, I think they disturbed the whole camp because they haven't heard about that. They just, and I, I, first of all, we have to understand Dortmund. This is a player, they want to have him here. They see how important it is for the club to keep him here. But you know, you say he has a clause in there, but he's also got a point, I guess, that everybody else that has a clause, it's, a, it's a, after the season, say one month, you have to have a club coming in to kind of pay the money, which is, which is the clause. And I think that has annoyed them. And he said to me, to me today, today, I, want, I, want to, I don't want to do it now. I have to wait. And because there are, the team holder, they don't know where he's going to play next season. But you have to understand Dortmund. If I could criticize a bit Dortmund, I don't think they should do that over media. I think they're talking a bit too much about it. This is a big deal. And, and you, as you're saying, it's been all over the media over here. It's also about Dortmund wanting to send a message to their fans because it's going to be, in all likelihood, a 10th consecutive title for Bayern Munich. And for Borussia Dortmund, they want to send the message that we are trying to fight for the best players in the world, even if they don't have that same number of, of world-class players in their squad that Bayern Munich have. So I think that these noises that we've been seeing in the media have been them trying to say, look, we are trying to, to give it a go, as I think you would do if you were in their position as well. But at the risk of upsetting your best player, I think that's the that's the the thin line that they've been trying to tread and it's got to the point where Erling Haaland has snapped. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.